Hello YouTubers, this is Anubafire and welcome to a discussion on the recent ATV which demoed significant changes to the UI or user interface. There seems to be some mixed feelings on this subject floating around the community. There's a discussion with regards to the location of the MFDs and changes to the HUD in general. A mixture of very legitimate concerns mixed in with possibly some confusion. It's very easy to form a negative opinion about something that's incomplete. What I'd like to do today is discuss what we saw, see how it's different, and then present some possible changes. These changes could further streamline the interface. It's key that you express your feedback in the comments. Let's begin with some background. For as long as I can remember, the plan was always that citizens would be able to manually interact with controls in the cockpit. This would add so much immersion for pilots who wanted that hardcore simulation experience. To me, this has always been a feature that we need. The key to that system is that it never impedes our enjoyment of the game. The system needs to be additive to the experience without detracting from it. The issue or pitfall would manifest where a routine or repetitive task was made totally cumbersome, thus preventing the citizen from executing needed systems in a timely fashion. A perfect example of this would be if you needed to look down just to push a virtual button to release a countermeasure. There have been some very big changes to the HUD system, MFDs, and helmet-mounted displays. Some ships are currently more complete than others. If you're curious about the current state, the Gladius would be a great one to test out. Don't get too used to it though, because it's about to get a major overhaul once again. Things that worked in the past were broken to make way for change. I feel it's important to allow the citizens to have a choice of using the immersive UI and also being able to bind a complete list of functions however suits their needs. Some players are actually completely against the use of a complex process for the sake of immersion. Some very hardcore citizens plan to use programs like PowerGrid to replicate functions onto a physical multifunction display. That example and others rely on being able to select custom binds. A robust and complete list of binds will ensure all players are able to configure their experience to suit their needs. The current binding page is functional to me only because I've seen it evolve over the years. To a new citizen, it must be completely overwhelming, so with that in mind, I have a suggestion. CIG, please investigate the addition of a search tab to the keybind menu. As you type, a list of possible binds would populate, which would narrow down the process it would let citizens quickly make adjustments. Here's a case-by-case case highlighting how the UI could be used by various controller types. For keyboard and mouse players, not much of a change. A hotkey makes the mouse movement become a cursor instead of an aiming device, allowing the pilot to roll over the UI. A mouse click or F would confirm the selection. For a joystick, there's a very obvious option, which is that the pilot switches to keyboard and mouse to make the changes. This is messy, so the suggestion goes like this. The pilot would have the same hotkey that would temporarily change to a look axis and roll over cursor with the stick. You'd click a button to confirm and releasing the hotkey would return to 100% control. With a bit of practice, the pilot would quickly execute the command without removing their hands from the controls. Hojam would work almost the same as mouse, but instead of using a key on the keyboard to free look, the pilot could use a joystick bind. The pilot would hold that modifier, select the function with the mouse and then click to confirm. And finally, the scenario that offers the most potential, joystick and track IR. Free look is always enabled by head tilt. One button on bind, similar to Hojam, would make the UI visible. Using your head and cursor, select the item you want and click to confirm. With new levels of control, we also need to maintain full ability to map functions. Mapping options allow for tailored controls, which allow everyone to get the most out of Star Citizen. Thanks very much for spending your time with me today. Please take the time to offer your opinion in comments. 3.0 is fast approaching and I'll keep you informed. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.